CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet, and today I'm here to show you how to make this really cool spider. Um, I actually use it on these um, really cool wrist cuff, spider web wrist cuff um, tutorial that I just did not long ago. Um, and I want to show you how to do the spider for this. Um, both of these will be linked in the descriptions of the other. So um, I do have a spider, the same spider. I have an older video that I did, but it was back when I did Facebook Lives. So I wanted to do a better video of it. Um, what you're going to need for this, I use a lightweight three yarn for these spiders, but you can use any weight yarn you want. I think they look more realistic when you use a smaller weight, but it doesn't really matter. I'm using a four uh, millimeter hook because I'm using that smaller weight yarn. So if you go up in a um, yarn size, you might want to go up in hook size, obviously as well, that will affect the size of the spider. Okay, so if you go with bigger yarn and a bigger hook, you're gonna get a bigger spider. If you go smaller, you're gonna get a smaller spider, which is maybe exactly what you wanna do, okay? So um, you'll need a pair of scissors and a darning needle as well. These are not stuffed, even though they kind of look like they are, they're not. It's just the way that they're made, but if you want to stuff them, you can. So you might want some stuffing as well, totally up to you. Okay, so to get started on this, I'm going to use a color that you can actually see well, so we're not gonna use black or white for this, um, but we're going to make a magic circle and into this magic circle, we're going to put eight half double crochet. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Then you're going to pull tight, okay? Now, most people will use stitch markers when they're working in the round. So if you would like to use a stitch marker, you can, and you need to put it right here where we just stopped if you wanna use one. I am going to count. I think it's easier to count and I'm gonna show you how to do it that way, but there's, you can definitely use a stitch marker if it'll help you, okay? But we're gonna be working in the round and we're gonna be working in the round with half double crochets, which might be kind of new to you. A lot of times when we work in the round, we're using single crochets. But what we're gonna do now is we're going to do two half double crochets in each stitch in the round. So first, let's find out where we need to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we know we need to go right there. So I'm going to yarn over, go right into this first stitch. So I'm not gonna slip stitch, I'm just gonna go right into this first stitch and I'm going to work two half double crochets. And I'm going to work two half double crochets in each stitch around for a count of 16. So now I'm gonna start counting instead of using a stitch marker. So right there I did two, and the next I'm gonna do two, and the next I'm gonna do two until I get to 16. So in this next one, this will be three and four. And in the next will be five and six. And in the next will be seven and eight. And the next will be nine and 10. And then the next will be 11 and 12. And the next will be 13 and 14. And then the next will be 15 and 16. Okay, so that's what we need. That's what it looks like right there. And now we're gonna do one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So we want 16 half double crochets around in total. So we're going to yarn over, go into our next stitch and do one half double crochet. And now I'm gonna start counting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now it's turning in on itself. That's exactly what we want it to do, but we want it to go the right way out. So I'm gonna push it this way out so that my stitches are facing me, okay? And then the inside is facing on the inside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet two together eight times, okay? So that means what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a decrease eight times around. So to do that, and I'm going to count, so I'm going to yarn over, I'm gonna go into my next stitch, I'm gonna pull up a loop, but I'm not gonna go through anything. I'm gonna yarn over, go through my next stitch, pull up. I've got one, two, three, four, five loops. I'm gonna go through all five. And that's half double crocheting two together. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's seven. I mean six. seven and then we need one more and that's eight okay and so now we have decreased all the way around I want to go ahead and place this piece right into the middle because it's gonna stay right in there because we're gonna close this hole up here in just a second, okay? So now what I want you to do is I want you to cut off leaving a long piece, probably about two feet long because we're gonna use this for a couple things. And now we're just gonna pull out our yarn So we're not chaining one to close or anything like that. We're just pulling it out, okay? And right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches around. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna close up this hole. So we're gonna take our darning needle. We're gonna put thread our long piece onto here. And we're going to go through each one of these just like this. There's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. And after you go through all of those with your darning needle like so, you're going to pull tight. Just like that. And that's gonna close your circle all the way together. But what it does is it makes it look kind of puffy, okay? So like I said, you could have put um, some stuffing in there or some yarn if you wanted to make it look a little bit bigger. You can do that, but I'm gonna leave it just like it is, okay? And so then we're going to just leave this right here for now, and we're gonna work on the head now, okay? So what I do for the head is I'm going to take my blue yarn again, and I'm gonna find the middle spot for that. So right here is the middle, right here where we were working. I'm gonna go right up from the middle and go right through there, just like this. I'm gonna pull my yarn through, do a chain one, and now I'm going to work a puff stitch. I'm gonna pull this up like this, 
and I'm gonna do a 10 puff set. So I'm gonna go through once, twice, three times, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then I'm going to yarn over and pull through all of those. Then I'm going to join there at the top, just like that. Then I'm going to cut off and pull through and pull tight, just like that. And that's the head of the spider. So you could leave this on here as like webbing if you want from the top, but I will probably work that in and pull it through. And now we're going to make our legs. We're gonna leave this long piece still attached. I'm even gonna keep the darning needle on it and we're just gonna put that to the side. Now to work the legs, what we're going to do is we're just gonna make chains. So I'm gonna make a slip knot and I'm going to chain 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, you could leave them just like this and they will be thin, spidery looking legs. And they look really cool and realistic like that. I'm gonna leave mine like that. But you could go down and do a slip stitch or a single crochet to make them thicker. It's all up to you and what you wanna do, okay? But I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna cut some piece off there. I'm gonna pull through. Then you can pull tight to make them even longer, okay? Then I'm going to do a chain of 22. Make a slip knot and chain 22. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Then I'm going to cut off and I'm going to pull through and pull tight. And then I'm going to do a chain of 24. And I'm keeping these all in line from shortest to longest. So we started with 20, then we went to 22, and now we're gonna go to 24. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Then I'm going to pull through and pull tight. And then for our last one, we're going to do a slip knot and we're going to chain 26. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. I cut that off, pull through, and pull tight. So now we have all of our legs because these are actually count as two because we're gonna fold them in half, okay? So we're gonna take the spider that we have here and we have this long piece still connected on And what we're going to do is we're going to run this piece right up to the back of the head. Right there, there's a little place where we did the puff stitch and we're gonna bring that yarn right up through there with the darning needle, just like that. And then we're going to take our shortest piece. We're going to cut off our ends, leaving a little bit at the bottom for a foot. So it looks like that. And then we're going to fold it in half and we're gonna pull it right down
right down just like this down our piece of yarn here okay so we've got one then we're going to take our chain of 22 we're going to fold it in half cut the little part for our feet and then we're going to go into the middle of it and pull it down just like this And I got this idea actually from doing hair for dolls. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna cut that bottom off like that. And then I'm going to go through the middle right here. And then our last piece, remember cut for the feet. Go right through the middle and pull down. Okay, so now we've got legs on both sides. And now to hold these in place, we're going to go right back to the head part and go right down and over. So it'll hold it right there. And we're gonna do that a couple times so that it'll hold in place. And this can get a little topsy-turvy here, so just make sure you're working over your legs. Just like that. And now I can work this end in, right through the middle of the spider. One. Two. and three. And then I can cut that off and flip it over. And you've got a cool spider. So now I'm just gonna work in these ends that I have left right here at the top. And then I'll show you what the finished spider looks like in just a minute. And look at that, you have got the cutest little spider ever you can. Fix these however you want. They could go all the way down and over here like this. Um, you could point them up where they were joined like that. Um, you could even sew them that way where they were joined up there at the front. So you can just do all kinds of things with this. It's so much fun, so cool. So that's what I use for my wrist cuffs, but these are great um, applique um, type little animals for anything that you're making. So I hope you enjoy it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notify me bell below if you want to get notified of my future videos and please share, that helps more than anything. And if you found anything confusing in this video, I have a beginner crochet video below that kids for absolute beginners, okay? So I'll see you again soon, guys. Happy crocheting, bye-bye.